Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Fandom. Fun. Funny. If you were at the Taco Bell drive-thru right now, what would you order? Poop, 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 choo, pow, 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 ping, poop, 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 poop. Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Woo, choo, choo, choo. It's the uh, Chris Evans nudie episode. Whoa, 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 choo, choo, choo. Wah, wah, wah. Starring from Oddity Files, Kitsy Duncan. Yay. I will never order from Taco Bell. I've had food poisoning too many times. What? If you could be mm-hmm. guaranteed no food poisoning, what would you eat? Oh, those gorgeous, all of it, everything. <laughs> I miss it. I felt that. Everything. All right. Choo, 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 choo. Pa, 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 pa. Ching, ching, ching. She'll be editing this to make sure it stays somewhat not explicit. <laughs> Producer Jonna. Okay. If I was, I literally have my order already in my head. I'm probably going to go to Taco Bell after this, if I'm being honest. Okay. I would go and I would get a Crunchwrap Supreme with no tomatoes, with a Baja Blast and a soft taco. And they don't have empanadas anymore, which makes me really, really sad. It makes me want to cry. But then I would get cinnamon twists. Ooh, oh, very nice. Oh, oh the Cinnabon fact. bites. Mm. I have a fact about cinnamon twists from Taco Ooh. Bell. My friend showed me a TikTok where people like buy the swirly like pasta or whatever, like the rigatoni mm-hmm. or whatever. Yep. You just throw it in like a deep fryer and like it puffs out. And that's how they make the freaking cinnamon twist at taco bell and then it's they just not bread it's pasta it's like pasta Absolutely and they throw bread. it in the grease what? and it fluffs <laughs> out and then you just put like cinnamon sugar on top of it oh my god oh my god thank you john if you get nothing else from this episode you just learned the secret to cinnamon twists you Woo! can make it home <laughs> <laughs> ba, 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 ching, ching, ching. and joining us to recap the sad last days of supernatural oh, from conquest happen. journals it's shelly hello okay what would i order it would depend on if i was being like good if i was being good i would no be bad be bad okay, shelly be oh, bad i don't even yeah. know if this is still a thing because it's been a while since i've eaten at uh taco bell but i would have two beef soft taco supremes with Ooh. all the sour cream and yeah nice joining us from the kind of nerdy dudes it's producer patches <laughs> 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 I'm trying to uh, imitate his sound effects from the kind of nerdy dudes. <laughs> Is that like an electrified banjo? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Right now, currently at Taco Bell by me, they have the chili cheese burrito back. So my order would be two chili cheese burritos with extra cheese, a steak quesadilla, and two soft tacos. Mm. Ooh. But mm. he is currently mm-hmm. on a restricted diet, so, <laughs> so none of that. Pray things. for pray for Patches that yeah. someday he'll be healthy enough to get the chili cheese burrito before the limited time is over. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and I thank you that it is so. I don't mm-hmm. want to talk about it. Amen. Right, and and uh, <laughs> my name is KJ. If I was ordering from Taco Bell right now, I would order the mm-hmm. I would get the cheese wrap and add meat to it because it used to be called the Mexi Melt and I got it without the Pico, but now they don't have the Mexi Melt on the menu. So you have to order the cheese wrap and ask them to put meat in it. And I would get- Taco Bell's just taking everything from us. No, the Mexican pizza's going Oh God, I just want to- No! You didn't know my introduction at Taco Bell was the Mexican pizza. Oh, it's gone. It's gone, girl. At least since you're not going there anymore, you know that nobody else can have Mexican pizza. That's true. Okay, I do feel better. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, coming up in the show, our regular segments. So what's got John <laughs> weeping? I, I, di- I follow you on Twitter, Jonna, so I know that you got some, some stuff going on in your life that's making oh, you cry. Nice. That's great. And we, we don't get into her. She's got a counselor for that. It's the what's That's got true. Jonna weeping in the like entertainment world. Let's see, it's here with <laughs> normal in the news. And then it was, you know, it, it was crazy as Supernatural and the cast said goodbye and live tweeted every single second of it to continue to just break our hearts. So rough. So Shelly's here to be a real doubter. Per <laughs> yeah. usual, for sure. Got on black, so it's fine. Yeah. All right. Morning. 
we'll get to all of that. Uh, my job on the show is to bring you the choo choo wah 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 wah. It's the Chris Evans update wah wah wah. The best one. Yeah, wow, chicka, wow, wow. The best Thank one you. ever. <laughs> Nice. Everyone's going to listen to this episode just for the Chris Evans update. Yeah. Okay. So. (laughs) Thank you, Patches. Nice. Uh, It's uh, it's been a while. I can tell you it's been uh, a a week. Yes, because this year, I'd just like to recap that prior to (laughs) all of the, the recent events, with Chris Evans, that we've been doing many things on our show, Chris Evans related. We uh, had the 12 days of Christmas where we celebrated actually the entire month. We celebrated Chris Evans and his greatness. And we are currently, if you're listening to this before September 30th, doing a drawing for the Chris Evans cutout Captain America to celebrate a thousand members in the Kind of Nerdy Network. So join there on Facebook and you can sign up to win. So we are always talking about Chris Evans and we love him the most. And so I feel like all that we have done this year to celebrate Chris Evans, that it was only right that he do something very special on my birthday. (laughs) He loves us. That's why he he loves us. (laughs) On my birthday to make sure that he, he he shares his love back with us. <laughs> oh, that, and he did. Yay. Um, Sorry. I want to be very loved after. <laughs> okay, I want to oh, go around first. Has are well? I mean, I can ask Patches too. Has uh, did everyone here look at the picture? Yes. I yes. Said dibs. Yes. yes. Yeah, Shelly, you looked at it. Yes. Patches. I think I saw no, it I first haven't in the group. Okay. What's I think that? I was the first one to see it. I okay. think you were too, Jonna. For sure. So, I'm going to sit here on my high horse and tell you Whatever. Don't act like you ain't look. (laughs) I have not. I did not look. I did not. It was in our text group. I I know. And I specifically scrolled past it. I scrolled past it. I was like, I have too much respect for this man. I respect you. Oh, you are missing out. Well, I don't even understand. I don't even understand. I I, you know, guys, I was, I, I mean, I've gone back and forth. I've had moments where I'm like, cause I know it's in our, our group text and I could look anytime, but I was like, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I can't do it. I'm respecting. You're going to save it for a special day or. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's, we're going to start counting the days in quarantine, how long it takes to break me. To <laughs> look. Is that gonna I, be I like say on your wedding anniversary. To yourself. No, <laughs> Yeah. A Christmas gift. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it was already like a birthday gift. You but... guys, you guys on Christmas this year, we need to we need to keep like just spamming our text group with that picture to KJ. Oh, oh it's starting over. now. What are you talking about? <laughs> sneak it in there and blow it up. Not I don't need to. But... It in there. I, I, don't gar- I guarantee look. you'll. She, you know, just to just to be a good husband. What I will probably end up doing when Christmas comes around, I'll print out a picture and cut it out and make an ornament make out ornaments. of it. Yep. Yes. And then put it on the tree for. Yeah. But like, several of go. them. Have yeah. the Chris Evans tree. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The Chris yeah. Evans tree could look very different this God. year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that? No. The Justin yeah. Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon thing. Where's, it's my, excuse my language, guys. It's the dick in the box. That's the what box. it would be. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great gift. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so I am not going to look. I just am not, unless you force it on me, which is rude. Uh, no, I, it's not. Oh, man, just wait. When I come to your house, I'm going to be like, oh, KJ, look at this picture that I took. Look how cute I am. And then just put it right in your face. That's rude. <laughs> if you love me and if you love the sevens, I do. you will not interfere in our respectful relationship that we have. Mm-hmm. Uh, Whatever. But can we talk about how magically it was handled by his friends yes. and him yes. and the oh, ultimate yes. mic drop at the end? It was yeah. so great. Yeah. yeah. And I do feel like hope maybe moving forward there will be, because that's, I mean, can you imagine if, if you did that, right? Like, no. Oh, I could totally see myself doing that, to be yes. perfectly honest. It's like the worst, it's like your worst nightmare when you're on social media that you're going to accidentally grab something from your phone that you don't mean to. Not that, you know, there's like, 
a lot of body part pictures on everybody's phone, but even like screenshots of dumb text messages or anything, a bad mm-hmm. photo, you're like, oh, I look really dumb there. What if I accidentally posted that, but right. then to have it be this, I'm sure he was just, I'm sure he was just horribly mm-hmm. mortified, but what a, what a fantastic way to handle it. Though. Yeah. So what, what was the progression of that? Cause I'm, I, I, all I heard was, you know, Hey, you know, there's a Chris Evans crank shot. So, <laughs> so I've never heard that phrase before. Yeah. Okay, that's so, awesome. so, let me text that's, the that's, episode title. Hey, there's a Chris <laughs> Evans crank shot. <laughs> that's not exactly how it went. So of course on my birthday, I haven't seen them for months and months. We're social distancing with our our nephews in the backyard. When I start getting all of the text messages (laughs) and Facebook messages and tweets, and my sister and I were in a somewhat serious conversation, and I finally had to, we were inside, and I finally had to interrupt her, and I was like, I'm sorry. I am definitely paying attention to you. But apparently Chris Evans accidentally posted a picture of his penis. And that is why my phone is going so crazy right now. (laughs) Because everyone was like, did you see what Chris Evans did for your birthday? Did you see what Chris (laughs) Evans did for your birthday? Best gift ever. (laughs) So she, I was like, I'm going to respond to all of this and get my notifications so that they're somewhat off. And so she went outside and I, I do not believe that my sister would say, hey, Patches, did you see the Chris Evans crank shot? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, she okay. just, she came out because you guys were having a conversation. She came out and she, I was like, everything all right? She's like, yeah, Carrie's mm-hmm. taking, uh, apparently Chris Evans posted a picture of his penis today. <laughs> I was like, all right. I mean, like, I'm a dude. Like, I, I mean, there, I can, you know, a penis could be called like 5,000 things. So cranks yeah. is one of them. I like, you know, like, hey, crank that. shot. There you go. I know. <laughs> you know. I've never heard that before, but okay. And it would have been cool had she said that to him, you know. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so that was how it, you know, came about. And so I think it was amplified due to the fact that it was my birthday. And then I, <laughs> I kept laughing about it. But I was also like, oh, this poor guy, like, he's. He's, what is he going to do? You know, and then he wasn't on social media for a while, but he came back with, I mean, the ultimate response, right? The, yes. Y- yes. You know, I, yes. Mm-hmm. Now that I have your attention, vote. Whatever it takes to get you to pay attention to this election and vote, <laughs> I am willing to do. <laughs> So, and his brother's so response. Oh, his brother. I wasn't on, on uh, social media yesterday. Guys, tell me what's going on. It was <laughs> yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That was brilliant. <laughs> yes. Yeah, good times. I don't, I, I don't want to see it. I don't know, you guys. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, maybe this is more than you need to know about me. Like but this. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> nude pics don't do a lot for me. Like, I uh, honestly, if you send me the, the gif of, of Captain America when he's first at the punching bag and they've got his butt cheeks moving just right. You like, know what my favorite one of him is? That. Where he's breaking the wood in half with his yeah. hands. That's he just, favorite. he looks like, he looks, so, he is America's ass. I mean, that is America's ass. He looks he's so America's good. He's America's everything and, now. So and yeah, I'm just say, <laughs> he is America's penis the now full too. package. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I love you, Chris Evans, and I'm never going to look at your penis. <laughs> it's I kind of an arty shot, too. What? It was, it was very artistic. It was very, it was pretty good. Black and white? Like, that's what I did. I, I heard that it was black and white. Like, the, that's why, it, like, you could He's scroll. editing on that. He was like, you know, Here's let my... me make sure that this is right for the girl that I'm sending it to. <laughs> I was just going to say, my real question is, who did he say, who did he take it for? He's dating that one chick. What's her name? Lily Collins? Is he dating her? Have they confirmed that? Well, I don't know. I mean, that came I mean, they from. They say what they want. Yeah. They were over in London, and the London tabloids are even worse than. And than they went and had lunch. Are. That's true. Yeah, they went and had lunch. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, but yeah. I mean, he wasn't just taking it for himself, or you know, maybe he was. You know, maybe it's documentation. It is black and white, going for that artsy docu feel. Yeah. yeah. And he's been in quarantine a long time. He's what? What else could I get creative with? I need an artistic. <laughs> I feel you, Chris. Really just God. God. Dog dog dog. Dog. What else can you do? I will say. I'm an artist. I need to create. What else can I do? 
he might have just been bored. He was like, yeah, you know what? But maybe what? What do these regular people out here do? Right. Like, hey, wake up, buddy. Let's take some photos. Let's do a photo hey, shoot. You know what's on? You know what's gonna get me excited? Let's do this. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. And, and I wonder what he calls it. <laughs> Oh my God! There's almost oh, a spit no. take back there for Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it, what, I'm trying cap? to keep it as clean but funny all at well, the same time. From what <laughs> I understand, from what I understand, it wouldn't be little. <laughs> little, little Definitely not cap. Little cap. <laughs> Call it old glory. Cap Junior, <laughs> my shield. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after Endgame, he could call it the hammer. Oh, oh, man. Oh. That would be a good one. Oh, hammer. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Is, is there anything else we need to discuss on this topic? Guys, I, oh I mean, my God. Tell me why Chris it. Evans just tweeted while we're talking. About Shut it. up. He did not. What? What? I'm telling you, he knows. Like, he, he, we're vibing with Chris Evans. We I are, just got the notification. It was like, Chris Evans tweeted. I was like, what oh, he what did he say? What does he say? Oh, uh, he's let's fight for her like she fought for us. And it's donate to flip the Senate. Oh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I know. Heartbreaking and terrifying at the same time. It's yes. Totally. 100%. Yes. All yeah. right. See, he's just back there being a good guy again. I will say yeah. that he handled it really well on the Tam Tamron Hall show. I didn't that see the interview. Can you? Talk I didn't watch about the whole that? interview, but like all the fan pages that I follow or don't follow on Twitter, because now I just like everything that has Chris Evans in it. So now these things just pop up on my Twitter feed. Yeah. But it was just like a clip. And she was like, so, you know, like something. And he was like, oh, did something happen this weekend? I don't know. He was like, oh, you know, it was an accident. Lesson learned, blah, 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 whatever. He took it in stride. He was like, yeah, it was fucked up, but go vote. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what else could he have done? Right. Anything yeah. he would have done to try to fix it or, or explain yeah. it, it would have been twisted and turned. And yeah. this was absolutely the perfect way to handle it. And maybe somebody will vote who wasn't going to. Now. Yeah. So, right. God I love Chris Evans. To, but I'm double going to vote now. <laughs> I, I think we can do that in indiana i'm not sure <laughs> but you know i mean i do i i hope that what we're seeing uh, you know the the outward response to it is truly how he is handling it right yeah. because I, yes. obviously we've seen other celebrities that have had things like this happen and it you know guts them it destroys them they're so embarrassed by it and and traumatizes them for a long time and well i will say that like a lot of things that i saw like a lot of the fans were like if y'all are gonna don't share the picture you know if you're gonna keep it like for your own personal use that's so that that's <laughs> your business use. but you know a group you know, text you know you know share it on social media and like i would never chris yeah. has really bad anxiety apparently like he has an anxiety yes. disorder. Oh yeah. Yes, he does. He's he's so, talking like, openly. That's why you guys. That's why. That's why I was so worried. I yeah. worry about him. And is the outward response really what's going on? Because he has well, anxiety. From what I, every single person who was a fan of him came to his defense like like quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah. yeah. They were like, no. If this was a woman, you guys would, you know this would be like a whole different thing, you know, just respect his privacy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, and I think that the conversation that, that, that has come out of it is, I mean, there are, there are like, let's, let's talk about how many times this has happened to a woman and, and mm -hmm. maybe it, maybe the response is different because of the fact that there is, if anyone was going to do this, that we're like, we must protect this person, it's Chris Evans, right? Nobody dislikes Chris Evans. He's just right. a good person. But let's do that for everybody, no matter who they are. You yeah. know, let's yeah, not absolutely. share it. And and it is, it's the first time I, I took down, we went back and forth, Jonna and I did, and I talked yeah. to Patches about it. We took down a post in the kind of nerdy network because it was getting a little too much for some people. And we, you know, we got some comments, we had someone report it and I was like you know I don't I don't I'm not going to tell you what to do but I also don't want to facilitate that here please don't right. don't sh right. don't share it right? right and you can he's laughing about it he's doing the best he can with it so it's okay to have these conversations but also at the yeah. end of the day know that the conversation of of the human being who made a mistake and is very vulnerable right now is is the conversation we need to have moving forward for anyone who does this yeah Correct. So, all right. Well, that's just me.
<laughs> protecting my cat. <laughs> I, I'm curious if it if he were not so well endowed, how it would have went down. Oh my gosh. He really? just got even more perfect. <laughs> like, how are you already the perfect person and you all you already you literally perfect from head to toe? What in the actual F? Okay, can I ask a, a, just something to consider? Has, I mean, in everything that he has done, in all of the responses, uh, and you guys have seen the picture, <clears throat> is it, I mean, is it possible? So anytime someone sends me a picture, it saves on my phone. So I oh, actually have that save. saved on mine my phone. Doesn't save. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, is it possible? He's on iPhone. It doesn't save. It doesn't do that? Okay. Because uh -uh. that's what I was thinking. I, well, not my text messages, but like my WhatsApp and stuff. I was like, what if, what if somebody else WhatsApped him that picture like as a joke, like they were doing something and that's not even him? It could be. Could be. Because he hasn't said. I did have that thought as well. I mean, he didn't deny that it was him. Well, but I mean, that's, that's I getting too much into it. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I'm but just, then why do you have a penis picture on your phone? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So yes. it's a whole other. Okay. Yeah. It's just like asking girls, why do you have, you know, pictures of your boobs on your phone? Like, yeah. For the record, I'm still in my pajamas. Oh, that's fine. I've got, yeah, I mean, I'm in sweatpants. Oh, sweet. Sweatpants and, and paw socks because it's catered. I put on a hat and a sweatshirt and a bra just for you guys because I love you. That's I have my supernatural like slipper socks that I bought. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's talk about supernatural since you brought that up, Jonna. I'm doing a rewatch right now. Okay, Shelly is, is, is so Shelly, can you explain to someone who's listening right now uh, your connection into the supernatural world? Well, Supernatural fans literally saved our business. We were actually about ready to go under in 2015 when we went to a Supernatural convention put on by Creation Entertainment. And we sold a bunch of brown journals there that didn't even say Supernatural on them, but they loved them for their photo ops and stuff. And we were like, hey. Um, so then we got licensed and, and I was already a fan before then. I think I started watching maybe 2010, maybe 2011. So, you know, which at that point it had been on, so it, it first aired in 2005. Oh my God. Um, you know, yeah. So we're at 15 years now. Um, and obviously, so I, we go to, we vend at the conventions and we have a whole line of supernatural merchandise. At it's Conquest crazy. Journal. I didn't, I didn't know that you posted that recently about how supernatural saved your business. I, yep. I mean, I knew that you went to the conventions, you had the license, you made the supernatural stuff and, and that you were, you know, tied in with, with creation. Yep. But I didn't know that it was like, this is, this is it. We're going to, yep. If this supernatural stuff doesn't work, then, then we're screwed. That's exactly what we said. And that's, you know, we're, yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was just, yeah, it was just, thank God. Thank God for the supernatural fans. So, and now uh, fast forward to what is not even the end of the show for the viewer. Right. The end of the show for the cast and crew. For the cast and crew. And so, of course, and ironically, it was just like September 13th is Supernatural Day. So this was like, I think this was on September 10th was their last day of filming. So we kind of had our last Supernatural Day because that was the first day that it aired in 2005 was September 13th. We kind of had our last day of filming and our last Supernatural Day within three days of each other. And that, you know, the cast and the crew, I mean, Jared and Jensen, the leads, they both posted like, the last couple of days of going to set and what were um what were some of the the posts that like really got you i think jensen posting a little video of them tearing down the bunker which is where they're oh. they're oh. You know. oh. so he was like he was standing he was standing in the forefront and he looked so sad and you know jensen's pretty stoic you know yeah. a lot right so he turned and he looked and somebody took a big sledgehammer, like I'm getting goosebumps. And, and he goes, man, this is so hard. You're getting and goosebumps. I just about threw up in my mouth there. I know. The whole fandom was like, why did you post this? Oh my God. I mean, everybody freaked out. And then, of course, Jim Michaels, who's one of the main showrunners, posted the picture of Jared and Jensen's little like chairs, you know, with their names on it. Oh, yeah. This will be the last time they sit in these chairs. And then everybody <laughs> freaked out. Yeah. Um, and then Jared, he sh 
he just wears his emotions on his on his face and in his eyes and he posted that morning like my last day going to set and and you could tell that he oh those was, the eyes those so you knew he had been crying and he was so sad and everybody was i mean it was just so many Poor things baby yeah and then even jason fisher he works he's on the crew too and he posts like the he posts the song of the day which of course i think it was carry on for the last day <laughs> oh, and, and the, he posts like the i know it's devastating and every every day they're filming they have the quote of the day and he posted something really sad on the quote of the day and it's just I mean it was just so it was so many things that you know and then all the fans got online that day and started sharing all of their pictures of how Supernatural changed their lives there are different photo ops they've had you know when they've been to the conventions set visits when people have you know, gotten pictures with their replica babies and all of that kind of I, I've stuff. I've never seen anything like it. And it's not like, I mean, social media has been around a long time now. I've never seen a, a goodbye like that. It was as much as I would, I would get a, you know, I would get an update like Janet Sinackles just tweeted something. I'm like, stop it. Good. Jim Michaels just tweeted. I'm like, stop it. <laughs> You're killing me. But at the same time, I mean, I think it just shows that that special fan relationship that this particular show has that yeah. I'm sure for the cast and crew it was somewhat cathartic to have all of the fans rallying around them while they were in their final moments oh for sure yeah working on the show but now I'm like god I don't even want to watch it but I mean I you, have, you have to understand what are they going to be tweeting while we're watching it <laughs> right but that day that everyone was posting like the whole goodbye thing like I literally yeah. was off twitter all day like, I was like, I can't, I physically cannot handle being on Twitter and seeing everyone say thank you, Supernatural, because right. it just, yeah, I, right. I started watching in uh, 2014, 2015-ish, somewhere around there, and I spent my whole summer catching up on Supernatural just so I could watch the newest season, because one of my friends recommended the show to me, and then it was where Dean became a demon. Oh, that, that was yeah. A so I I okay. ended right where Dean became a demon, so I could go into the new season of yeah. where he was an actual demon. Mm -hmm. And like now, everyone's just like posting them with all this like supernatural ending, and I'm like, I like I physically can't. I might not even watch the the last seven episodes because I I physically don't think I can handle it. Yeah. Like well, and what I what I realized I was the same with you because I mean we started oh god we started supernatural. Right around the time we started hanging out with you, Shelly. And so that was five years ago or five, five six, or six years, years ago. Five six years ago, yeah. yeah. I mean, so we blew through all the seasons. But after, you know, after, you know, after going through the emotional journey with Sam and Dean, you know, the ups and downs of good seasons, bad seasons. Like, I, I was thinking back. Yes, the show's been on for 15 years. It's an extremely long-running show. But it's not just a show anymore. Supernatural is an institution in yep. television now. You yeah. can't, I mean, there's not many shows that have run, hell, even five years, let alone, you know, three times that long with, with a run of 15 years. It is and, actually the longest running genre show in U.S. television history. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean. That's amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I mean, you, you look at, I mean, and, I, and again, like to KJ's point of having, having the fans, like they, I think they were one of the first shows that had that groundswell of like fan support to yeah. where like the fan like it was one of the first shows that grew a community of people that then became friends with each other and then you know just just helped carry the show even in the years that they didn't know if they were going to have a next season there you know that groundswell right. of writing you know the cw or what was it wb at the time or you yeah. know like whatever you know whatever it was and to, yeah. to keep the to keep the show going which is impressive and plus i think me personally I think it's super, super cool that the CW allowed them to end it on their terms. Yeah. 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 CW said that whenever they wanted to end the show, they would end it, but CW would air that show forever if they were yeah. going to make it forever. Yeah, they would have kept going. And, and I think one of the things with the fandom that was really interesting, when we first got the license with Warner Brothers, we were actually working with like a supernatural consultant. And he was kind of an expert. He had written some books. And we talked about it because he was like, you know, after, after season six, we just weren't sure. There was like a dip. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to continue. And then all of a sudden there was this big spike. And 
to me, I think part of it, quite honestly, are the dedicated conventions. I think the actors, especially because Jared and Jensen, I think that during all of the conventions, Jared missed maybe one. And Jensen even came the weekend that one of his kids was born. Holy his cow. Wife, yep. His wife said, Danielle said, you can't let the fans down. You got to go. She's so, also, I love her so much. I know. She's so cool. And I, and I think that that the main actors being so involved with their fans, so hands-on and building that whole situation has really, and I, it's kind of surprising that more actors don't get involved in more conventions because, you know, a lot of times the, like the leads, they, they don't do the convention thing, or maybe they do one here and there, but I totally believe that that propelled this show to be such a tight community and really last as long as it has because everybody like knows them well many people like kind of know them personally now you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's just it's just uh yeah they've made a, themselves very available yep yep it's yeah. a different level of um relationship that the actors have with their fans that other actors really could you know take a page from their book you know right well and and i think when do you think as well with the advent of Netflix, uh, you know, oh, you got sure. 15 years ago, you know, Netflix was, you know, it, it was a mail-in DVD service, right? Yep. That's how it started, Yeah. which is hard to believe. Yeah. And, <laughs> but you know, when they, when they got their streaming platform, Supernatural was one of the first shows that was on the streaming platform. They didn't have yep. a huge they had a big catalog, but they didn't have a lot of rights to a lot of shows, let alone a current show that mm -hmm. they would air, you know, you had to wait for the season, but then right before they'd, they'd have the other season and right. you could just binge watch it. So how much of the binge watching aspect too, in today's society, everyone- right. That's how I, mean, I got into it. Yeah, yeah being able to binge, binge, binge. Us yeah. too. Yeah, it was, I tried to watch it in the beginning and I was, I, I've built up a tolerance, but- at the time, I, I mean, I'm still not good with a lot of scary stuff. And that first episode, like, mom on the ceiling in flames, I was like, I'm out. Oh, I had nightmares. I'm out. I had yep. nightmares. Did you really? <laughs> yep. Wow. Yeah, both Chris like and I had, we started binging it before bed, and both of us, like, for that first oh week had weird, bizarre dreams. And yeah, I tried okay. it, Me like, too. I tried it a couple years later, and I was like, nope, that's still terrifying. And then finally, I, you know knowing, you know, Shelly and so many people that were watching it and so loving it so much. And I'm like, God, we just, maybe if I get past the first episode. And so yeah. that was, Ooh, I asked how to get past yeah. the first season. The first, I'm rewatching the first season right now. It's and it's so, so good though. Creepy. And it's, it's so, so scary. Good, it's so creepy. I like, I was sitting here watching it and I was like, I was like, damn, do I want even want to rewatch this? <laughs> well, and that's, you know what's it that's good to know that, uh, cause it did, it, it was hard to get through it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're, did they do that, Shelly? Do you know? If, well, was, was that on purpose or did they yes. have to lighten it up? No, I mean, Eric Kripke's first vision for the show, which I read, and I didn't know this as I, as I had watched it until I like read the com companion, like the, you know, illustrated supernatural guide. I can't remember what it's specifically called. It's a big, it's like a big coffee table book all about supernatural. And of course I own it. And so Eric Kripke's inspiration was what if all of the scary stories you grew up hearing were true? So that's why it's like the urban legends I come to it. life. Mm -hmm. And that's where the whole premise of the show started. And wow. that's honestly, why when it started not being that anymore yeah. is when I lost interest. Yeah. Yeah. Was that well, when they went a little more into the angel? Yeah. I know a lot when of it people turned know. into God and the devil. I'm like, eh. Yeah. When, when they way. got away from the things that go bump in the night kind of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And that's, and that's, that's after season five because Kripke had one through five and I think he left the show after season five and then it, it started to take a different direction. But then yeah. I have also seen some funny, funny memes, like everything I learned about the Bible, I learned from Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like, oh, I didn't know, you know, some of the different stories about some of the archangels or whatever, you know. So, um, see, and I think for me, I learned mine from Lucifer. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> well, yeah, yeah no, right. I yeah. mean, I think that's Absolutely. part of the reason I am 
attracted to these kind of shows and when you get into the angel and demon stuff is because yeah. I grew up, I went, you know, I went to Catholic school, I grew up Catholic, you hear all of these stories and you know, I, there, I was the girl in class that was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You yeah. like, you, like you know, you like challenging things. You like things that challenge the normal thing that yeah. we talk about. Well, and the teachings through all of these shows, like as far as the religious experiences, there's one, the, the one message has been consistent throughout all of them. Michael is a dick. Michael is a dick. <laughs> yes. yes. All the way. Yes. 100%. He's oh, a Michael. dick. If there is an actually an archangel Michael, I'm just I'm sorry if you're, you're like, good, dude, are you really that big in the like, dick? I, come I, 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 because in Sunday school they thought they taught me he was amazing. But yes, every right. TV show I watched. Right. right. Yeah, same thing. He's always amazing. How Ellis is Lucifer, it makes sense the way he explains it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's creepy. Like I'm not gonna creepy. lie. Even Why Mark Pellegrino's, even Mark Pellegrino's Lucifer thing. I mean, yeah. like, like the the points that he makes and stuff like that. Even though yeah. he's being sadistic about it, it's oh, if you actually think about it, you're like, well, that kind of tracks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm like, wow, you're As dead. I get older. I identify more with the Disney evil queens than I do the princesses. The queens are starting to make more sense to this woman. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to reserve comment on that because I love you so much. Yeah, but you, have, you haven't watched Maleficent. You haven't watched any of that. You know, no, and I haven't. even a little bit of Once Upon a Time when the, Maleficent you, is, it all yeah. makes sense now. She yeah. loved that daughter. Oh, she, yeah. she did it for love. And you know what? It all makes sense now. Yes. I'm hashtag evil queens. <laughs> <laughs> What's got Jonna weeping? <laughs> oh, my favorite intro. Okay. <laughs> so I finished, I watched the show the other day. I think it was literally like two days ago. And it was called... It's on Netflix. It's live action. I feel like I need to tell y'all. Thank you. I need to make sure I differentiate my things. It's called Julie and the Phantoms, and it is so good. I like, thought that the name itself caught my attention. I saw you tweet about it, and I'm like, Julie and the Phantoms sounds like a show I want to watch. Oh, it's so good. There's music. There's ghosts. There's there's everything that there's a boy. There's boy band like everything what? that you ever want like it's so good it's about this girl named julie obviously and her mom oh. dies and her mom her and her mom used to write songs together and play music together and we have that. a show where a parent doesn't die no yeah. her dad her dad have you guys seen couples retreat yes yes okay so the guy who was like the yoga instructor carlos i don't know how to say, his last name is hispanic carlos ponce i want to say oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy, he plays her dad, except he's got, like, short hair, and I love him very much. Because oh, yeah, yeah, he was the guy wearing the banana hammock. Yes. So, when you're talking about, I don't want, I'm going to be selfish here and say don't give too much away of the show because I kind of want to watch it, but what would you compare it to? What TV shows does it kind of feel like? Um, kind of like a Zoe's Playlist. Oh, you got me. Because <laughs> there's, you know, each episode, there's, like, they're all leading up to a big thing at the end and you know julie's like learning to you know get back into music and then she meets the phantoms and then there's some romantic thing with one of the phantoms and then there's a bad guy phantom and there's so there's so much music and the god i was about to cuss the <laughs> do you forget how many times we said penis at the beginning That's of the show i think you're like, okay at this point the, the graphics are so good and the acting so good like it just, it makes you feel some type of way. Like one of the songs, like I've downloaded like half of the show. Onto my Is phone. it original songs? Yeah. Oh, wow. And, okay. and wait, so there, there is paranormal, right? Yes. Like the phantoms are phantoms. Yes. The phantoms are yes. a band. Okay. You wait, know. so are they are, they are phantoms? Yeah. They're actually like dead people. But it's a dead people, yes. a dead people band. Julie's alive. Okay. And she goes to, okay, I'm just going to tell you a oh, little bit. Yeah, yeah. She goes to clean out her mom's music studio and she finds this CD. And so she starts playing it. And then all of a sudden, 
like these three ghosts pop up out of nowhere and she's what is actually happening and these dudes died in like 1995 oh so that's why there's like boy band stuff yeah, and they were like an actual band. God, I love this. Yeah, they were <laughs> like an actual band. But they're ghosts. They died, and they they died real suddenly. They were only like 17 years old when they died. Oh. Yeah, it was, y'all. When y'all watch it, there's this one episode, and I will tell KJ, it might hurt it's you fine. like a little, it might hurt you like a little bit more mm-hmm. because one of the ghosts, his name is Luke. Him and Julie have a love interest thing going on right now, oh. and I'm so here for it because like you can totally see. Wait, it. ghost sex? <gasps> no. It's, a, it's rated TVG. They can't oh, be okay. any of that. Oh. Ghost well, kisses? Ooh. Some, you know. Jana, this could be your fan fiction. You could write the adult version. You could. I could. It. Yep. But it's just, there's one episode where Luke, the he's like the lead singer of the band, and he he died, and him and his parents weren't on very good terms when he died, and so he wrote a song about his mom. And it's probably one of my favorite songs out of the whole show like I listen to it probably every single day like, since I've watched it and it just in the whole scene plays out so beautifully and the people like the actors are just you can feel how sad they are like he's just crying oh. and oh my god oh uh. yeah Y'all, I cr- that Dude. episode I cried. This is what we're watching when we're done. It's After only we nine yep. episodes, and they're half-hour episodes each. Oh, so yes. I'm starting I tonight. It in the night. Yeah, oh, but it's so... I, I need all of y'all to watch it so y'all can be on the same level of yeah. love as I am because I really want a season two. No, <laughs> no, we... Uh, to, we're to, I'm, I'm not speaking for everybody else. I'm not speaking for Patches, but I'm totally watching it. Do it. Oh, my God. Right after we catch up, we've got a couple episodes of The Boys. Mm-hmm. loaded up to go because you know they're releasing those one at a time now one a week so that's going to be real awkward to go from the boys to what sounds fantastic but oh, i just good. finished i don't know if you saw in the kind of nerdy network i was well patches was sick so he wasn't like he wasn't with me uh <laughs> he wasn't with it at all this week so i finished agents of shield and who it's so that season I would say the last like three seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that was like, this is what I expected from this Marvel show. It was just everything. But it ended and I was like, man, I need like something like, like a Star Girl or Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist or like something that's going to be a little lighter, but oh, Julia, has great, been- great character development. And those are- I'm hard. excited. Like, yeah. yeah. So that exactly. sounds that sounds perfect. It's Can I interject job. one thing that's also starting next week? Mm-hmm. The Great British Baking Show is I doing. Did, see that. did you see that? So that's going to be on the twenty fifth on Friday, and they'll release it. I think they're doing that once a week because they're doing it like three days after it airs in the UK. Nice. Okay. And can we still get a uh, Great Baking Show? products uh planners and things like that from you you can get we have a great british baking show recipe journal that has Mm -hmm. stickers and recipes in it and pages to put all of your recipes and yeah so and where would one purchase that shelly at conquestjournal.com thank you (laughs) (laughs) you guys we need a code so that when we do this it's and make sure you enter the code blank to get the blank yes yes Yes. I'll make a kind of nerdy. You need a referral program because yeah. I've got some spooky shows that I think you would fit really well with. Cut all this out, Jana. Just yes. saying. Thank you, Jana. Oh, Jana, you have to edit this. It's going to be so bad. Look, I'm, t- I'm going to tell y'all right now, this is gold right here. I might not edit, I might not edit too much, honestly. <laughs> I like that people get to hear all the, like, we, d- we don't filter ourselves. We're like, yeah. yeah. You know what? Let's make our to-do list of things we need to do, right? Yeah. Oh, I need to make a code. To yeah. <laughs> right? uh, all right. Woo, woo, woo. Wah, 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 woo, wah, woo, wah, woo. <laughs> it's that looks like jazz hands kissing instead of scary hands. <laughs> it's time for Paranormal in the News with Kitsy from Oddity Files, the podcast. The podcast. Hey guys, so <laughs> I was mean, a good you NPR have, voice. <laughs> was. You guys, you have to have seen my paranormal in the news. It was in the New York Post. What? Which one? Which one? Um, the ghosts somebody captured in Gettysburg. No. Yes, I did. I I, I, I didn't read it, but I I saw it. Uh, flip. I flipped by it. Unfortunately, okay, so it's, it, 
do you have a post about it uh, on, on any of your social? Where can we? No, if you give me screen share, I'll play it for you right now, though. There okay. you go. You, you guys got do it. whatever you want. This host now. Ooh, that's so uh -oh. much power. Oh boy, Kitsy's in Ooh. charge. Ready? Ready. Stressful times. I have been better, better internet here than at home, but it's still taking a sec. That's so funny that's that your funny. internet's better when you're not at home. So watch the cannons. Okay. Behind, see, there's one in front too. What the? <gasps> Holy shit! Oh my Sorry, gosh! Wow. I mean, weird. I can't debunk it as ghosts. Ah! I mean, you see a head, right. you see ah. legs, yeah. you see absolutely everything. Oh my God. And for your, the listeners, since this is video, this is a person just taking video down the road because Gettysburg is so notoriously haunted that I can't figure out how to get the big window again. Oh, oh. stop, share. Yeah. There we go. There, there you go. We <laughs> <laughs> put this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, go kind of go back to describing it. Yeah. So those of you, I mean, I know this is video. It's, I really wanted to share this with you guys, but if you go to the New York Post uh, website, I'm sure you can find it there, but it's somebody just kind of driving down the road through Gettysburg and you're wondering, well, why are they just recording? This Gettysburg is one of the most notoriously haunted locations in the entire country and everybody's seeing ghosts there. Everybody and they capture. Really yeah, exactly. And what they capture is it, it's almost like a tannish color. It's not even like gray or anything like that, but one comes out in front of the cannons. There's two big cannons on the side of the road. And then one comes out behind the cannons and I'll send the link to uh, KJ or Jana, whoever, so you guys can share the link on the kind of nerdy girl social sites Perfect. as well. Have you shared um, it on the, just what I needed network? I have not yet. No. Well, share it on the, just what I needed network. And we'll retweet <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, and it's, I can't as a paranormal investigator having three seasons on Amazon prime called oddity files cannot debunk this as dust <laughs> as glare. <laughs> like, see what I did there. Um, Get used to I it, Jada. <laughs> I can't debunk it at all. So, wow. I mean, it could it's be Photoshop. Don't get me wrong. Now, is yeah, it, it, I mean, it could be Photoshop, but don't you feel like I don't, I, I don't think the videos. I yeah. I don't. Oh, yeah. people will Photoshop some pretty wacky stuff. Paranormal. You think so? Say, oh, look what I caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the fact that the New York post shared it does not make it legit. Right. But it's a pretty big deal, but it's yeah. also right. spooky season. Yeah. You know, Very that's really cool. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you have anything special going for spooky season on Oddity Files, Kitsy? I'm actually going to do a live podcast through the JCPN PL, JCPL Library. I'll Johnson County Public oh, Library. Library. Public Library. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'm You're so welcome. Proud. I don't remember the letters, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Yeah. So we're going to do that the week before Halloween. It's the Monday before Halloween. And I'm be doing a live podcast in a hot minute and to do it from my home and or camper land. Yeah. Land. Yay. That'll be fun. And then, you know, I was going to be like, oh, well, this isn't for the podcast. Of course it is. Everybody gets to hear everything. We're figuring <laughs> out what the, the drive. So the drive in night that we were supposed to do, and this, you know, for people who listen in Indy, we were going to have a kind of nerdy night out, which we're really excited about because. We used to do those all the time. So the, the Tibbs driving in Indy, because Wonder Woman got delayed, we were supposed to do it October 9th and watch Wonder Woman and have a big 80s night. But I wanted to tell you, Kitsy, that she, she is going to have scary movies going that night, I think in the 80s, 80s themed. So I think night, the original Nightmare on Elm Street and Poltergeist are going to be playing. <gasps> you, I've been dying to see Poltergeist in the drive-in. That's where I first saw it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. So I feel <laughs> like we can still do it, but I just need to make sure that people who are going to bring their kids for Wonder Woman night don't bring their kids and, and it's Poltergeist, right? <laughs> Mom. What we're going to... The Circle City Ghostbusters are still going to be with us and they are bringing their Ecto-1 car so we can do photos because we can social distance. Photos. Going to be a car so we can do photo ops and and then and she said announce this at your own risk but it's pretty pretty solid it's happening going back there on friday october 30th for ghostbusters one and two a double feature for halloween weekend oh, how does that sound 
That sounds so amazing. Right? Yes. yes. Tell Sad. me, you've never seen yeah. the Ghostbusters movies. You've never seen Ghostbusters? Oh, you're in for a treat, what? kid. Oh, so well, good. and it'll be so fun because, I mean, one, it's the drive-in and there's all the atmosphere that comes with that. Yeah. But Patches has the most amazing setup when we go out and do things live and our system has a tuner on it so we can use our sound system to play the, the movie audio. So if you're nice. like around us, we'll have the, you know, the quality so you don't have to, I mean, it is fun to listen through your radio, but we'll actually have it playing as well Ooh, uh, so yeah so October 9th and October 30th are our plans you know the drive-in thing and movie theaters and companies and all of this stuff right now is always in flux so just follow us um, on Twitter at kind of nerdy girls or th the biggest updates sort of like the day-to-day -day, just kind of keep up with us we're not trying to hide anything join the kind of nerdy network if it's a hot mess we tell you it's a hot mess the kind of nerdy network on Facebook yep. group. That's just, <laughs> yeah, that's what we are, man. Yep. <laughs> and typically we are a hot mess. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are proud. Did you listen to this episode? <laughs> right? right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, yeah. I need to go. And also, one more thing. Jana is also executive editor of the Just What I Needed Network, which is where you will find the kind of nerdy girls, oddity files, miss murder, get scared, small talk with Shelly, all of these wonderful. Oh, he has a podcast. Love. Oh, and the kind of nerdy dudes. <laughs> Thanks. We, we, we have one token dude podcast in hey, our group. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, uh, and yes, Jonna coming soon. Shelly has a, a vlog on YouTube called Small Business, and we are going to be making it into a podcast as well. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Okay. Look at us go. Look at us go. Thanks for listening, guys. Choo, 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 choo. Here comes the music. The kind of nerdy girls podcast. I love our music. So don't ever do that again. <laughs> 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 Join the nerdy girls.